Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey everyone, today I want to share three simple ways to reduce clutter in your home and to create a visually streamlined space. I think as a lot of us pursue minimalism, admittedly, probably one motivation is creating a space and a home that's not stressful. I feel like when I have a lot of clutter around and there's just stuff everywhere, when I walk in the door, I just start to feel overwhelmed and stressed out. And believe me, I've definitely been there. But I have to say that as I've done a lot of declutters and thought about organization and specific strategies to reduce clutter, I've seen a huge improvement in that the clutter doesn't tend to build up quite as much. And so given that I'm somebody that that's historically struggled with too much clutter and that I've seen some big improvements in my space, I thought I would share a few ideas for how to reduce clutter in your home. Hey, if we haven't met before, I'm Aylan and this is my channel Slice of Light. If you want to see more videos on simple living, minimalism, living more intentionally, and building an empowering mindset, then hit the subscribe button below. If you end up liking this video, please hit the thumbs up button, and you can also hit the bell notification button if you want to be notified when new videos come up. Doing all those things really supports me, so if you're willing to do that, I'd appreciate it. I want to add that I think the first two strategies that I'm going to share are pretty straightforward and simple, and they may even be one that you've heard before, but bear with me because I do think they're important and they've really helped me. But I do think the third one is a little bit newer and definitely has made an impact on me, so stick around for number three if you're interested. So the first strategy that really helps reduce clutter, in my home at least, is to reduce the resistance. Sometimes in the past it's felt for me like the clutter around me is almost an organism, like a living being trying to take control of my space. It really starts to feel that way. And so it feels like this resistance, like an uphill climb, like no matter what you do, something new is popping up on the counter or the table or the shelf or whatever it is. And it's just this feeling of resistance against you. It's like if you're riding a bike and you change the gear. And so what I try to do with clutter is reduce the resistance around me. And the simple way to reduce that resistance is to declutter more. The higher percentage of belongings that you can simply get rid of, give away, donate, sell, it's simply going to make that resistance reduce dramatically and it just won't feel as overwhelming. It won't feel like that uphill climb every time you come home. And believe me, I've historically had so much clutter. I really am somebody, I've said this before, I have what I call a sticky brain where I like to collect, I like to keep things. I admit it, I'm one of those people. But as I've decluttered and really taken on this new minimalist mindset, or at least trying to move towards minimalism, I found that as I declutter higher percentages of my stuff, it's just easier to keep my space non-cluttered. And it's just more welcoming anytime I walk through the door to come home. Because I don't have all these belongings around me telling me, you need to fix me, you need to put me away, you need to do this or that with me. Basically, there's less stuff to deal with. And again, I know this one might be a little bit obvious, but I would really challenge you in your next declutter if you're doing declutters to really think about how can I get rid of a higher percentage of the stuff that I'm getting rid of. Maybe have a lower bar for what you declutter. I truly think if you give it a real shot, you're gonna see some positive effects almost immediately. My second strategy, and again, this isn't a totally new idea, but I think it's a good one, is to have a home for every item that you have. Now, this is a natural thing that happens after you do the first step. Once you get rid of more stuff, it's easier for your belongings to actually have a home because there's just less stuff to cram into spaces. Like, I always think of the mug shelf because that's historically been one that's been a struggle for me where like I have to pile mugs on top of each other that like don't quite fit and then eventually I don't want to have to pile them so high that they may fall and break so then I put one in a different shelf and they just start getting all over the place. Instead if I just had fewer mugs, because how often do I actually use all my mugs at once, if I just have fewer mugs then they can all fit in their spot and it's not overwhelming to put them away. And so I think that applies to a lot of different areas. If we just have one of every item that's necessary or have fewer of things, it's easier to put them away. And it just makes the process of cleaning up and also finding things way easier. I read somewhere that we spend almost 5,000 hours of our lives searching for things, which is kind of the equivalent of about six and a half months of our lives. So think about how much time we're missing out on. Like, 
six and a half months of our lives we're spending looking for things. I mean, think back to the last time that you were looking for something around your house and how frustrating that was, how much time it took, maybe it made you late. I certainly have experienced this. And think about if you can just find a home for every item, which is easier, again, when you have fewer items, it's gonna save you a lot of time. And to me, time is the most precious commodity. So if you can have a home for things, it's gonna reduce clutter, and it's also just gonna reduce your headaches. Before we get to that third recommendation that I have, I just wanna mention the sponsor of this video, Skillshare, which I really appreciate them supporting me and sharing these videos with you guys. And I would only partner with companies that I really believe in and I think Skillshare is just awesome. Basically it's an online community and platform where you can take a bunch of different classes on all sorts of things. And a lot of the courses are in areas of creativity like fine art, illustration, photography, videography, UX design, animation, creative writing. I know I've taken some courses on video editing that have hugely helped me think about video editing in new creative ways. And I also just started a course from Jonathan Van Ness, yes, Jonathan from Queer Eye, on self-care and I absolutely love it. They have really great people creating these courses that are really engaging and interesting. Skillshare courses are also specifically curated curated for learning, meaning there aren't any ads. You're really focused on the subject matter. What's really great is that the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description below will actually receive a one month free premium Skillshare membership. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and give it a try. Okay, so getting back to reducing clutter in your space, my third recommendation is to retrain your brain and body to tidy the surfaces in your home on a regular basis. I think so much of clutter is about habit formation and that we just get into the habit of setting things down on certain surfaces to a degree where we're not really thinking about it, but we're just doing what we're used to doing. And I think sometimes habit retraining, getting used to doing something new is really tough. Like even if you think to put things away once or twice, you end up reverting back to what you used to do, which is also why I think it's sometimes hard if you have other people living with you or other family members to get them on board with tidying or decluttering. Sometimes it's something that you can't just like do once or twice and then it's fixed. Certain behaviors are so automatized, so ingrained in us that it's hard to reduce that clutter. And I think that's what makes it hard to keep a clutter-free space. But I think the way to retrain our brain and body to reduce the clutter in our space is to just take one surface at a time and use mindfulness to keep our attention on what we're doing when we're handling objects that tend to land in a particular space. So specifically what I do is I just take one little surface area and I say this week, I'm gonna work really hard every time I'm using something that tends to land here or I'm working in this space, I'm going to clear it when I'm done. Right away, just take that minute to clear it. And often it's super fast, but it'll make a huge impact on the overall look of the entire room. An example of this is I had the old habit of after brushing my teeth, just putting my toothpaste and toothbrush down on the sink next to it and not actually putting it away. But that would just be the start of the clutter on my surface in my bathroom and things would just tend to pile up there. Instead, when we moved to this new house, I said, that's gonna be one thing that I really, really focus on that after I use certain things in my bathroom, I just put them away. And that's just gonna be the one space that I focus on. Maybe other areas of my home will still get cluttered sometimes, but I'm just gonna really work to keep this one surface clear for the next week, two weeks, month, however long it takes for it to form into a new habit. And now, now that I've done that, I found that clearing my bathroom is way easier because now I automatically put things away that before it felt like such a chore to put away. I really think sometimes the clutter and putting away the clutter is about that uphill climb that I talked about before, it feels overwhelming. But if you have less stuff, if you have a home for it, it makes it easier then to form these new habits. But I do think it requires intentionality. It requires a plan where you say, this is the space I'm focused on now, because I don't think you can just fix it all at once. It really requires intentional, thoughtful retraining, which means every time you're in that space, you need to be mindful. 
what am I doing right now? And be present in the moment with what you're doing as opposed to thinking about other things that might be going on in your day to be really present with what you're doing and putting things away until that becomes automatized. The good news is I truly believe this makes it easier and easier to keep your spaces clear and clean and feeling open and that if you just put in that little bit of effort that doesn't really add much time to your day, it's more just about being mindful, you can see a really big change. So those are my three simple ways to reduce clutter in your home. Again, if you ended up liking the video, hit the thumbs up button, you can subscribe below. And thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.